Blasphemy! You have defiled this place! Oh no! Greetings and welcome back to more Curious Expeditioning. That's right, we're back with Charles Darwin and his team, his Scottish soldier, Euda Ecken. Euda Ecken. Something like that, anyway. And Leiden Manxure, the Persian translator, not to mention Donald. Apparently, Donald Dutton the donkey. Mr. Dutton, I didn't realise you already had a name, Donald. Donald Dutton the donkey. That's just what we're going to call him. All right, Donald. Uh, Donald. Donald. Mr. Dutton. We're um. We're we're all in your debt for carrying absolutely nothing with us. But maybe we'll find something here in this long abandoned campsite. The remains of an expedition that failed long before us. There are even a few mortal remains, long rotten and overgrown by voracious plant life. But we shall search the area. I was sure we would find something valuable here. We spread out and searched the area. To our surprise, one of the rotten crates still had some valuable items. Loot it! Loot the items! I say, when you say some valuable items, you mean a single treasure map. A wrinkled old map that shows the location of buried treasure. We'll need to use a shovel to dig at the marked spot. We don't have a shovel. Maybe we can find a shovel. Amount 1 will be removed after expedition. Item does not consume any weight capacity. Well, that's just lovely, isn't it? Um, take it. Take it, take it all. Uh, it could have been better, to be fair. Look, there is a stone overhang that looks a little bit like a stone gorilla. Do, do you not think that looks a little bit like a stone gorilla? I don't know if we should go down and explore it. Um... I suppose what we could do is we could go and explore the gorilla, and then we could go back and rest some more at the waterfall, and then we could go on up to the shrine. Let's do that. We're going to do that. We're being a little bit cautious, but this is what you've got to do when you're on expedition. Let's explore the giant stone gorilla. Oh, it looks less like a stone gorilla here. We arrived at a rock overhang. It would serve as a basic shelter against the elements. Or we could rest here. It's not as beautiful as the waterfall was but you know it's a basic basic shelter we could have sheltered in the camp might have been a bit grim though i suppose sheltering in a you know a camp that marked the the site of failure of a last expedition to come through this terrifying and wild land all right let's rest overnight we settled down and told the people to rest there was an unnatural quietness to the night as we sat and stared at the campfire unexpected visitors arrived we were surprised to see natives wrapped in robes. Invite them to camp. Come, sit by our fire, friends. We have good standing with your people. Well, we have slightly better than neutral standing anyway. You've got a sort of a half a smile. We invited them to join us. They gladly accepted and sat down, sharing stories by the warming fire. Um, we could try and trade them the map, seeing as we don't have any shovels. We could try and recruit them. Let's try and trade with them. Uh, what will you give us for the map? Oh, you actually quite like the map. We could get some rope. More torches. We don't really need any more torches. A red mushroom. This peculiar mushroom has a rather bad smell, despite its taste. It has very potent healing abilities and in general beneficial to one's health. Is in general beneficial to one's health. Uh, mount one of 20. Return this item home or deliver it at mission to gain extra fame or funds after the expedition. Okay, we can actually take that. And what about some rope? Three lots of rope as well, so that we have rope into the bargain. Do we have a deal, my friends? We do have a deal. Excellent. We now have a red mushroom that we can use for emergency healing, or we can take it home. Um, I don't know if we can actually use it for emergency healing. Return this item home or deliver it at a mission to gain extra fame or funds after the expedition. Left click to use only when diary is closed. Left click to move single. Right click to move all. Yeah, okay, whatever. Whatevs, man. Um, any of you fine fellows want to join my expedition and generally hang out with us bros and lady and donkey named Donald Dutton? Recruit! After some negotiation, one of them was indeed willing to join our trek. We invited them to join us. They gladly accepted and sat down. Sat down? Sat down? Sharing stories by the warming fire. Oh, that's, they're still joining us. And they have already sat down. Slash sat down. Uh, and the moon indeed is low in the sky. Let us sleep here. The natives stood up, thanked us for the hospitality, and headed into the darkness of the night. Oh, 
All right, you're leaving, are you? You're leaving us before the resting has occurred. Well, that's fine. We'll probably feel a bit more comfortable about that. We're resting, 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 and we're up to 94 sanity. This is good. This is very good. After days of resting, we prepared to head out again. After all that time, we had been lucky not to have been crushed by the massive stone over our heads. Really? What, that was like in danger of falling on us this whole time? Surely not. Well, we're definitely not going to rest here anymore. Um, where's our new person? That's that's our old person. Wirakuni! Wirakuni, a native scout, level 1. Has uh, two shield dice, two hand dice, toughness of 6, extra carry capacity, and... Local, will hesitate to follow you home after this expedition. Superstitious, suffers from irrational fear of what is unknown or mysterious. Scouting, increased view distance, and geography gives additional information about your region. Nice. Well, welcome, Wirakuni. Hopefully you will come back with us and indeed uh, journey on into the future with our amazing expedition company of awesomeness. Maybe, well, I don't know if Ada might be a little bit upset because both of my companions, I think, are female. Both of my other companions are female, and I'm probably a little bit old for him, to be fair. Um, so uh, you're just going to have to wait, Ada. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm sure we'll find somebody for you soon enough. We're going to leave. Now, we can explore. We're trying to get to... Can I... I can move the map around. Whoa, okay. I need to be a little bit careful about how I move the map around. Um, because it is a little bit odd. We can go here to this uh, thingy bit. Or we can go straight up to the shrine. I think probably we should go straight up to the shrine. So let's do that. Travel! It's going to be a bit of a slog through the jungle. I could have actually just stopped here. Uh, which I should have done. Never mind. Ooh, what's that? It's mosquitoes! Oh, I do not want to go into a mosquito region. Examine the shrine! The temple before us deserved both fear and respect. All manner of plant life grew towards the sun. Waist-high stairs led up to an enormous doorway. A thick layer of sand seem to surround the structure. Okay, thick layer of sand, you say? Shall we enter? I think we should enter. What do you think, Wirakuni? Where are you? Wirakuni, should we enter? No! Well, we're gonna enter anyway. You're just being superstitious! Before us lay some kind of ceremonial room. It was a truly awe-inspiring sight. An altar flooded by light throned in the center. What did you say then, Wirakuni? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. It Look at it. It's awe-inspiring. Look at the size of these statues. Was this your ancestors, Wirakuni? Did they do this? Um, do you know anything about this place? Let's investigate the altar. Ooh! Look at this! Golden llama and a golden amulet. Wow! This will probably... <laughs> did you say this will probably do harm or this will probably not do any harm? It's going to be fine. It's going to be absolutely fine. We'll just take these two things. If I had like a bag of exactly equally weighted sand, I might dexterously swap in one for the other as I took them. But as I don't have that, we'll just swipe them both. There we go. A golden amulet, an exquisite decorative jewelry with a large something or other turquoise, and a golden llama, a miniature of a llama made of pure gold. Good. Bye. I would not leave empty-handed. We secured the treasure. We take what we deserve. That's right, Ada. That is absolutely right. I would not leave empty-handed. Blasphemy! You have defiled this place! Oh no! We're a Cooney. It's not really defiling because we're explorers, you see? So we're allowed. Uh, we're going to put it in a museum, maybe. Or we might sell it, but we'll probably put it in a museum. I would not leave empty-handed. We secured the treasure. We grabbed what we could and hurried outside as the plant life began to wither and die. We could not tell how, but it seemed like we had caused some kind of shift in the climate of this region. Uh, so it's possible, Wirakuni, that you were right. Um, but we're leaving. Anyway, look. Oh, look, it's, it's, it's changing. The region is changing. Um, we need to do a runner. Let's do a runner to this butterfly. Or maybe here first. Um, we'll use some rope on the way. Oh, look. Oh, what's going on behind us? It's all changing. Oh, we found the purple... We found the golden pyramid. We found the golden pyramid of awesome. Well, we're going to get the... Um, 
we're gonna the golden pyramid is now in some kind of desert dry land i mean look at this it's just changing everything um this local superstition is a problem oh look i think these people have leveled up have they leveled up promote look we can promote ada ada we're gonna promote you he's been promoted i think that was all i needed to do i think you have to choose who gets promoted and who doesn't i guess that's the case Ingenious Diplomacy. Uh, Alright, fine. Well, we promoted Ada because he's the best. Better than all the rest. He's also superstitious, unfortunately. Which, frankly, I can't blame him for. Anyway, look, let's go and get this um, thing. There we go. We got it. I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. Charles is deceiving something or other. We got it. We found the pyramid. That's ultimately our objective. So let's just go there. Travel to the pyramid. We're travelling into the rapidly drying region we've really caused. We've caused quite the <laughs> occurrence here. Um, I'm not sure if... Look, we're now at minus one standing. I think it's probably going to get worse than that over time. Um, but let's just explore the God's Pyramid. The majestic Golden Pyramid rose above its environment, overcoming all the obstacles we had yet survived. Let's enter the pyramid. Well, we could leave and explore the rest of the region, but I'm not sure there's anything left to find. And um, frankly, finding the Golden Pyramid is like the best, isn't it? It's like, you know, it's the best. And we don't have a lot of sanity left, so we'd have to find somewhere to rest. And it's, it's let's not do it. Let's not tempt fate. We've, we've come out of this with a golden llama, a golden amulet, some rope, a red mushroom. That's not bad. Some butterflies. And, you know, we had to use up our machetes and some other bits and pieces. But for now, we're going to enter the pyramid. The Golden Pyramid. After all this hardship, great pride overcame me. I knew that this name, Charles Darwin, would be written about. I congratulated Wirakuni. But instead of happiness, I saw regret in her eyes. She mentioned that she would be glad when I was gone. She preferred to stay in her home country, despite the fact that it was now changed horribly into some kind of dry desert land. The curse that would overtake these people shall be named forevermore the curse of Charles Darwin. Never mind, let's just finish the expedition. Success! Current fame! Our fame has risen to ten. We found the Golden Pyramid. We get a hundred. Speed bonus. First, we get 200. New fame, 310. I guess that means we found the Golden Pyramid faster than any of the other um, adventurers out there exploring and things. We can open a report. Do we want to open a report? We do not want to open a report. I believe opening a report is some kind of bug reporting thing, uh, which, of course, we don't need to do because we have encountered no bugs. Only sheer awesomeness. Finish the expedition. Bravo! Bravo! This is wonderful! Wonderful! So kind of you! So kind of you! <laughs> what a delight! I don't know why I took a Scottish guy with me. I'm just gonna get lynched. What a cute donkey! Yes, Donald! The Donald Mr. Dutton! Donald Dutton! The donkey! He was integral to our success. Actually, he wasn't terribly integral, but you know. So kind! So kind! Right, so we can choose an ex uh, like a reward, a perk for completing our adventure. So we can choose Explosion Expert, increases radius of dynamite explosions. Ooh, tempting. Jungle Explorer, reduced movement costs in thick jungle. Very useful, actually. You wind up moving in thick jungle quite a lot, although if you've got enough machetes, Potentially not. Geography gives additional information about your region. I think we're going to take Jungle Explorer because we did explore the jungles and therefore we are a jungle explorer. Even if we turned those jungles into a kind of dry savanna because of our visit. But uh, that it just makes it easier to traverse, right? Fantastic! We're going to do it. Jungle Explorer. Wow, look, the crowd goes wild! <laughs> And here we go, all right, we're straight up into second place. 309, 310, and the leader has 334, Mary Kingsley. We're on your tail, Mary, and we're leaving these people. Well, we're certainly leaving Ada Lovelace and Alexandra David Neal in, in our dust, and Richard Francis Burton as well. In fact, we could probably take the lead here because we can either get funds or we can get fame from our collection here. So, I mean, Obviously, it depends what we need more of, but right now, the, these butterflies are worth more fame than they are funds. So let's give them to the museum. 
Here, have my butterflies that I collected, for I am Charles Darwin, naturalist, and I have named them Charles's and Charles's something else. Gift. There we go, look, 320, 330. We're only four off the lead. We can take the lead here. We can totally take the lead. Um, this mushroom, on the other hand, we can auction off for more funds than we would get fame from it. So I think we should sell this, because we're going to need funds to re-equip for the next expedition. So we're going to sell the mushroom. Now, the golden amulet. Look, it's worth loads of fame. 70 fame and only 40 funds. I think we will gift the golden amulet to the museum. There we go. We're that awesome. We're just that awesome. The golden llama. Now, it's kind of a set. Really, it should go with the other one, shouldn't it? But, on the other hand, we've only got 50 funds. Another 40 funds nearly doubles our funds, which we could spend then on our next expedition. So, um, slightly callously, as we have now taken the lead, we're going to sell the Golden Llama. We, we took two priceless artifacts from the temple, triggered the curse, which uh, like just de-watered the land, just made the whole place an arid wasteland. Uh, and then we took these two precious, priceless artifacts, split them up we gave one to the museum because you know the fame was was good and we're just gonna sell the other one we're selling the golden llama beware the curse of the golden llama auctioneer keep them coming and you'll be rich in no time all right we like being rich but we prefer being famous and currently we are both a bit um good excellent let's continue we're doing really well this is good we're off to a cracking start we must choose our next destination where are we going to go on our next adventure? We can either go to the Malicious Jungles, a well-balanced region consisting mostly of wide grasslands. A golden pyramid can be found in this region. We do have the Jungle Explorer, so that would potentially be useful. Or the Cursed... The Cursed Drylands. Hmm, that sort of rings a bell, you know. <laughs> cursed Drylands? A harsh and desolate area for experienced explorers. A golden pyramid can also be found in that region. Let's go. It's like... It's easier, which is good because, you know, I like easy. Um, and also, it just synergizes with the level up thing that we took because we'll be able to explore the jungles more easily. So we're going to go to the malicious jungle. Start the expedition! Full of anticipation, I made my way to the docks. The crew had preparations left to do. So I had one last pot of tea. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. A collector of sorts proposed an interesting offer. He tasked me to acquire a mysterious idol that could be found in a native settlement in the area of our upcoming expedition. He promised a worthwhile report. Report? Reward upon its delivery. Um, I mean, so you want us to steal an idol from a native population? All right, fine. Well, we'll see. I mean, we don't have to actually do it when we're there, do we? We'll accept. He nodded gratefully and wished us luck on our thieving expedition. I was proud to see that tales of my previous expeditions had attracted quite some attention. I was approached by several capable persons that were curious for adventure. Who did I want to recruit? All right, so we've got a choice to recruit. Sergeant Thaddeus Howard, British soldier, level one. Dice, two swords. He also has two running men whatever that means. Toughness of eight, carrying capacity of two, and he is superstitious. But that's all right, we're all superstitious around these parts. And he has combat spirit one, sanity gained from fighting. Interesting. Um, I quite like the idea of having Sergeant Thaddeus Howard, although he would come along with, um, with Ada. I don't know how they would get along. They would either get along famously or they wouldn't. Um, and that might be a bit of a concern. Um, Dada Badi, Tara Tarapur, Dad Dada Badi, Dada Badi. I don't know. Uh, the trader. Um, we can't hire him because of the fact that we can't pronounce his name. Edwin Travers, the cultist. Edwin Travers, the cultist. Uh, also has two swords and two running man. Toughness of four. Carry capacity of two. He is paranoid. Um, and a coca expert. Increases gain sanity when consuming coca leaves. I think we're going to take Sergeant Thaddeus Howard. I mean, they're all like combat people. Uh, Thaddeus Howard has the highest toughness, which is good. They all have the same carry capacity. We've already got somebody who's superstitious, so I mean, how much how much worse can it get? Sergeant Thaddeus Howard, the soldier. Welcome aboard, sir. We could use a soldier because Ada doesn't count. And welcome, Sergeant Thaddeus Howard, in our trek. 
at last our ship was ready to leave the harbour. But I think that's going to have to wait for next time. Our curious expedition will proceed then. I hope you're enjoying this. Let me know what you think of this series and indeed of this game and whether you want to see me proceed on all the way to fame and glory or possibly horrendous and terrifying death dying in some godforsaken part of the world. Uh, but until then, thanks a lot for watching everybody. I have been Weird Wizard and I will see you later. We have bandits to hunt, for we must make our way to Dead Men Fort. Up we go through the forest, through the forest trail, and across past the marshes. Your scouts report that he has seen the following, some bandit thugs. Well, that's very informative. Thank you, scouts. You can only step forward one and split the man in half. <laughs> oh, yes.